Try and focus on my words, not my thighs and eyes, viewers. This is kind of like a dynamic effort workout, West Side esque, uh, you know, as part of the jugger cube rotation. So it's, you know, heavy, heavy, explosive, and and rep. Uh, so we are using the short rest periods here, um, in part because you're just not going to need that big of rest periods because the weight is light. If you do feel like intent is starting to diminish too much, or if you're using something like a velocity tracking and the speed is going down too significantly, like probably like a 20% decrement, then I extend the rest periods a little bit. But the short rest periods are also being used uh, not just for the short term, uh, but more from a long term thinking standpoint that if we can increase you know, density and special work capacity and you can do more you know, good squatting and recover from it better, then you're going to get stronger in the long run because of that. I remember doing some squat workouts like this. Uh, you know, we'll have to look them up on the eight millimeter film that they were taken on. But things like, I want to say like 12 by three at 515, uh, somewhere in that in that range, uh, every minute on the minute, 45 seconds rest, one minute rest type of workouts. And that helped me build a really high work capacity that you know later training cycles was helping me be able to tolerate a, a big workload and get really strong because of it. Seems light until you get to the last few sets. <laughs> 